Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America. And after all months of really rough news from the courts, Trump's starting to get some great news from the courts. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. And if you want Trump back in the White House, smash that join button and become a member of this channel. Right now, Judge Eileen Cannon is hearing arguments about dismissing this classified documents case against former President Donald Trump that was brought by special counsel Jack Smith. And Jack Smith's been up in arms furious about this, fighting with Eileen Cannon, had to get, the judge had to actually reprimand this dude. And it's just been absolutely horrible for him. But will she dismiss the case? I don't know. I don't know if she's willing to go that far. I would. I think it should be dismissed. I think there's precedent that other people have done the same exact thing that Trump did and did not get prosecuted. Selective prosecution is absolutely a reason for dismissing a case. Political targeting of somebody is reason for dismissing a case. There's a lot of reasons to dismiss this case, but among them, perhaps the most compelling, is that the federal government, who's prosecuting former President Donald Trump for mishandling classified documents, mishandled the classified documents they took from Mar-a-Lago. They are prosecuting him for the crime that they committed when they started prosecuting him for it. It's, you, you can't create this in a Hollywood script. They, they did the thing they're prosecuting him for. If that's not reason to kick this case, this ridiculous case, out of the courts, I don't know what is. I want you to watch this report on it and let me know what you think in the comments. Should the case be dismissed? Let me know. Right, to toss the classified documents case against him is back underway. There's a federal court hearing in Florida that is scheduled to start now uh, before Judge Eileen Cannon. And in a late night court filing, the Justice Department submitted these new images of how, quote, haphazard some records were found at Mar-a-Lago to undercut an argument by Trump's attorneys to throw out the case. Yeah, not a great look, but his attorneys contend that because prosecutors have not maintained the order of all documents inside their individual boxes, it hampers Trump's ability to build a defense. Let's bring in CNN's Paula Reed. So Paula, what more did you learn uh, from this filing? Their most recent attempt to have this case thrown out focuses on how these boxes were handled after they were taken out of Mar-a-Lago. The defense attorneys are arguing that because some things were moved in these boxes, that could undermine their ability to defend their client at an eventual trial. They won't be able to argue, well, this document was right behind this news article. Clearly, it was inadvertent. But the government punching back, saying, look, it was your client's decision to store sensitive materials in cardboard boxes, along with, quote, Christmas ornaments and clothing. And they said, quote, the integrity of each container in which the evidence was found, that is, box-to-box -box integrity, has been maintained. Nothing has been lost, much less destroyed, and there's been no bad faith. And they also shared these previously unseen photos that remind people also the fact that when some of these boxes were discovered, Documents were just strewn about the floor. So they've tried to dismiss this as, quote, Trump's latest unfounded accusation against law enforcement professionals doing their job. And today is the third day of hearings in this case. So many hearings in this case, by the way. <laughs> Yesterday, were, there were some apparent tensions in, in court. There was a prosecutor who actually apologized to Judge Cannon for his tone. Well, that's good. That's progress, because I've been down there in this court, <laughs> and it's not just because it's hot outside.